welcome back to my vlog and my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Deidre. If you're returning, it's great to see you. So I thought while I tackled this because my husband so caringly left it for me that we could chat. Um, I haven't filmed a lot today. I don't think I filmed anything actually. Let me see if I can prop you up somewhere. That won't give us the worst angle ever. How's that? Ooh, that might work. As long as my phone doesn't fall behind the bed, because that'll suck. But hi, how are you? Let me tell you. Let me tell you about my day. So, I just uploaded yesterday's video for today. I normally upload at 10. I uploaded it at like 6 tonight. I normally upload at 10 a.m. I was baking all those sourdough loaves that you saw me preparing in last night's video for today. And I was on the fourth loaf. I had just put the fourth loaf in the oven when my entire oven popped and blew up. So my husband doesn't know if it's a fuse or if we have to buy a new oven. So I can't cook. If it doesn't go in the microwave, a crock pot, an air fryer, or a George Foreman grill that I've planned ahead for, nothing's getting cooked. So we ended up eating out tonight because I hadn't planned ahead. I Okay, let me rephrase that. I planned ahead. I was going to make homemade pizzas tonight. Why well, can't I make pizzas? Because I don't have an oven. <laughs> so here we are. Tis the life I lead. So I am currently... Just trying to get some laundry done. I'm doing my husband's laundry over there. He can do it. <laughs> I've got time for that. Um, yeah, so it's been it's been a hectic day. You know, I've done, I've actually, it's kind of funny. I've been doing a lot of reflecting today for some weird reason. Because I was supposed to get up this morning to work out. And I did not get up. I woke up and was like, Meep, and then I went back to sleep. So that, that's, that tells you my thought process today. It actually ended up working out because... Hunter ended up waking up again early and coming in here pretending. And I say pretending because when I asked him more about being scared today, it was because he woke up and his solar light wasn't, his solar system projector wasn't on and he s decided to come in our room and wake us up. So thankfully I was already up and I was getting ready to go like get him out of his room. So he just beat me to it. So... I guess it was a good thing I wasn't working out because then I wouldn't have been up here. My husband would have been, but it was his day to sleep in because I asked him to watch Hunter for me yesterday. So I skipped sleeping in this weekend because I had a bunch of stuff I needed to get done. So now I'm just trying to fold laundry. I just stripped my sheets off because I I feel so behind on everything. Is Can anyone relate? Like, I just feel so behind on life like I'm trying to you know get laundry done wash bedding every week and cook dinners and bake treats for the neighbors and my friends and it's just a hectic time I guess of year so someone's coming I'll be right back well my husband is trying to fix my stove and I saw this and I am disgusted so we're gonna clean this real quick while we're waiting for him to get home with the pieces, hopefully to fix it. That was the, what was that? The Jaws kitchen degreaser. And then I have a magic eraser. We're gonna try that. I did scrape this out already. I'll put it a picture in. I'm probably gonna scrape it again. I don't know where I put the bottom of it. I just had it story of my life. Oh, that's so disgusting. I am so grossed out right now. I'm going to do the cabinet too because it's dirty too. Maybe I can order one of those seam things to keep the... Keep the food from going back here because this is disgusting. Yes, my love. This towel runs in my bed. Yes. We'll go up to in just a minute, okay? I'm just wiping this down real quick. 
I know it's gross, huh? There's something yucky. Yep, but we're cleaning it, right? No, we're not buying the new one if we can fix our old one. We don't waste things or money. Scoop back. No, no, Hunter. Hi. Hi, Mommy. Because I don't want you over here. Please get out. Mommy was filming cleaning it and you were in front of it. I don't want your face on YouTube. I'm not my cat. We're going to go to your room right now. I do have in my bed. I'm going to get you some water. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get you some water. That, that is, is that your that, gas? Yes. That, that's water. It's gas water? Yes. So that you can run your train? Yes. Cool. You need a lot of gas. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you it happens. Give me a piece of candy. I'm not giving you any more candy. You are done with candy. Is that top tip candy? Nope. This car is going to take water like he asked for. All right. I'm taking water. I'm going to let this soak and I'm going to go hey, get mommy. you ready for bed. Yes, my mom. My pocket bowl. Oh, look at you. All right, much better. I use a scrub brush, and then we still need to clean back here, but I cleaned the cabinet. Like I said, we need to still do the floor. I cleaned that cabinet. Just a little bit, something like that, I'll get it. Then I cleaned this side. So, yeah. Hi. I got the stove clean like I showed you. I've been trying to get up the energy for the last hour to put this together. Every time like, I keep looking at it, I'm like, mm, I don't know how to do that. I keep asking my husband to do it, but he hasn't done it. And Hunter needs it for our bathroom. But I can't imagine it's too hard to put together. It's me being lazy. So I have the hiccups. I just ate some sourdough bread. Are we shocked by this? No. Nope. So let's see, let's put, let's put Hunter's stool together. So, I was thinking about this earlier. Because it's been extremely hectic for us lately. I feel like I've been overwhelmed and stressed a lot. Um, just with all the things, the holiday things, the commitments, the, you know, the truck, the you know all the all the things and it's made it really hard because i just feel so stressed about everything like work has been really stressful and once body slim's program stopped like a week and a half ago i almost feel like a little lost if that makes any sense like i feel like uh, that was my focus for so long and i was so good about putting me and myself first for those 10 weeks and that was so important for me and I feel like I have gone right back to before where I'm putting everybody else first and I don't like that because I'm not getting my walks every day and I really miss them um I definitely feel like I'm gaining some weight um I'm not watching my food as much as I should be like I mean tonight our our oven wasn't working, so that's an excuse, but I don't know my husband's coming. Sorry, he was coming in to tell me something about his truck. So I was already doing this the hard way and the wrong way. So I need mean, to maybe not, not do it the wrong way. <laughs> um, yeah, so I haven't been putting myself first. I've been kind of doing everything again for everybody else like I typically do, and it's not... It's not good. I really need to, to make myself a priority because I matter. And, you know, my health and stuff matters and my everything matters. Like, I deserve to matter. And I need to put myself first again. And that was my biggest thing when I uh, was starting Body Slims was wanting to make sure that I made the effort and put myself first. And of course, I've just been like, oh, you know, whatever. So I need to get back to 
putting myself first. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle of wood. Don't let it drop. That's in. That's in. This is not in. This is not annoying at all. Okay, so that's, that was in. That's in. That's in. That's in. That's in. Got it. All right. My husband asked me, do you want a drill? And I said, no, I'll do it the hard way. Since I've been asking you for two weeks to do it in your entire, I was like, my hair's going wild at this point in the day. It just is what it is. So, okay, I want to give you an example of, like, taking care of myself. So, as you guys know, Hunter went to the hospital the other day via ambulance because he was having difficulty breathing. Well, I realized today, well, I kind of realized it yesterday, but I didn't realize how long it had been until today, that I haven't showered in, like, days. And that's not like me. I shower... Every day because I was walking or every other day, you know. Sometimes, like, if I'm really busy, like, early mom days, like, every two days. But I'm, you know, a pretty frequent shower person. And when I realized today, I literally can't remember when I showered. Like, I don't think I showered Thursday or Friday or Saturday. So that means it was, like... Wednesday maybe that's gross y'all like I'm ashamed I shouldn't even be admitting that on here probably but I mean that's literally how it's been lately for me there has just been so much going on oh good my whole thing just popped right back out my chest. got everything in place really I don't even have to put screws in to hold all of this in place. Instead of trying to tighten it. Um, so, yeah. I need to make myself a priority. And if you're in the same boat as me, you need to make yourself a priority. Because you matter. Your health, your time, your mental health... All of that matters. And so, you know, I think that this is kind of where I have fallen in lately because it's not like me. And it's unfortunate. It shouldn't even be like this. So I just wanted to kind of share that. That's been on my mind a lot today, you know, as I've just been trying to go through my day to day. And, you know, I was talking to my mother in law. They came over earlier and they were telling me, she was telling me that, um, my husband's grandmother had mentioned that I talk about the babies a lot, especially Franklin. And, you know, I know I do. And I told my mother-in-law, I said, it's because I don't want people to forget that he existed and that both babies existed and that they matter. Their lives matter. And I know in the past and not that far in the past, it's pretty common to not talk about those things. You just, it happened to you, you don't talk about it. You don't talk about your miscarriage, your ectopic pregnancy, your abortion, your um, stillborn, your, the death of your child that was already alive. You know, you don't talk about those things because, you know, it makes people uncomfortable and it makes you look weak because you, you know, there's something wrong with you because your baby didn't make it. And I don't like that. And I don't want people to think that their babies don't matter because that's not true. Every baby matters. And, you know, if it makes people uncomfortable that I talk about it, that's on you, boo. That's not on me. 
And that's what I told her. I said, I know my grief makes people uncomfortable, but that says something about them, not something about me. You know, because Franklin does matter. And she actually told me that she's glad that I talk about it because she misses him a lot. And she gets really upset about him pretty frequently. And so it was nice to hear that I'm not the only one still deep in grief over him. Um, and I told her, you know, I have good days and I have bad days. And, you know, it, lately it's been a lot of bad days because Christmas and, you know, that kind of thing. But these babies matter. Their lives matter. Even if they never took a breath on this side of the world, they matter. And I hate that people feel like they shouldn't matter. And I'm not saying that my husband's grandmother feels that way. That's not what she's saying. It's just uncomfortable for other people to see that. And I'm sorry, but no, I'm not really sorry. So, yeah. Well, I got to get these screws in. They're a lot harder than I expected. But, you know, it's almost done. Once I get the screws in on this side, I just got to get them in on the other side. And then it's done. And I can put it in our bathroom for him. The one we had in our bathroom kept falling apart and my in-laws didn't have one at their house. So I actually gave it to that, the other one to them so they can put it in there. But I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and like this video down below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.